so first you create an account in github and sign in to github using your user account and uh, visit github.com slash cookie tech here you will be able to see the my canteen app this is our repository the repository is something like a container in which all the code goes and uh, not like the cloud container container like a balti it's like a plate in which all your code goes and it keeps saving snapshots of the code so that you can revert back to an any initial point or you can control the versions of the code <coughs> and you can collaborate with other people so since we are going to work in a team and any team source code project uh, usually involves github so we are going to le learn github in the process right now I'm just going to uh, show you how to open this project into Android Studio. You all are familiar with this. Uh, start a new Android Studio project on this uh, screen. So what I'll do is right now I'll just see for it to Android Studio project. So yeah, the folder is empty. Now check out project from version control go to github and then they'll ask you your host let's get up dot com ravish and enter the password and then uh, <coughs> it'll ask you to uh, clone repository since i have uh, copied this url so it already automatically kind of uh, pasted that url over here so connection has been successful uh, you just log in and if you are a part of this uh, repository in the contributors I'll add you once you have made your github accounts and uh, press clone and you can simply see now it will clone the It will clone the entire repository and see you can see all the everything in the uh, Android view. It in the Gradle is configuring projects. Let Gradle complete its work. So you can see all the app and manifests and java files will be there once you download everything <coughs> and everything is completed and the gradle has finished the build and uh, now you can see that uh, now let's do a commit say suppose uh, just to check if everything is working I'll what I'll do is add a new activity because I didn't add a default activity so new and uh, activity and I'll add up an empty activity and call it a uh, yeah let's call it main activity so I'm sorry this should have been a launcher activity actually uh, make sure you kind of uh, check this remember don't ask again because you would want to automatically add all the new files to get any new files uh, that you create as you can see it's green in color because it's uh, been staged I, uh, 
<coughs> explain to you what taste means soon enough yet uh, like see this is a green file it means this has been staged this hasn't been committed yet now to see uh, let's add a simple progress bar ok and that's it and now what we will do is we will just uh, VCS commit changes commit message initial commit by Ramesh uh, once you press commit your code is being <coughs> uploaded into the commit some s files contain problem 1 error and 3 warning form now let's review this uh, namespace declaration is never used this view is not constrained it only has design time position it will jump to zero zero and click unless you add constraints so we have some warnings and uh, uh, let's just see if we can change the launcher activity my canteen uh, let's get back to android view manifest android manifest java let's just commit changes for once commit so it commit <coughs> now if you see you can see the local changes log console so first origin master was the initial commit and then initial commit made by Ravish this will uh, this was the second message that we said set over here now if you refresh this you'll soon see that one commit has been done over here and one more commit will be done so once you've committed it in your uh, local log uh, then you have to go to VCS and uh, Once you push this, uh, push successful. Now you will see that when you go to one, you see there are two commits over here, and uh, this is the second commit, like initial commit by Ravish, and the code has been updated. So this is how we are going to collaborate and this was a very very short tutorial on how to add the project into your android studio and then how to pull the pro project pull the files at any point of time and then uh, make your changes and then push the changes on the server so this is how it works and uh, i'll just add you guys to the my canteen team 
and uh, let's see where we can take it from there thank you